Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope everybody's okay today. We're looking at apologetics, how to do apologetics. We're looking at um, our next thing, which is uh, if you turn to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. The, the next thing about uh, doing apologetics is spiritual maturity. Uh, I can't stress that enough in terms of uh, leadership and in, in terms of apologetics. Uh, street preaching, evangelism, mission, whatever we're doing, spiritual maturity is important. Um, so, pray that the Lord will give you spiritual maturity. Galatians 5, 22, 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. So we need to pray that we're full of the Holy Spirit. We turn to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we need to be studying the word of God. We need to be steeped in the word of God. A lot of apologetics today is more rational. It's not rooted in the word of God. But we've got to be rooted in the word of God if we're going to be really effective. So let's pray that we would be people who are steeped in the word of God and mature in the faith. Let's pray. Father God, I just pray, as you teach us to do apologetics, Lord, teach us to be godly people, teach us to be mature people, teach us to be strong in you, Lord, in your name and for your glory. Amen. Also, uh, as someone who's been doing apologetics on YouTube for a couple of years now, uh, it's so easy uh, in the YouTube culture to let your guard down and be like everybody else. Uh, so be careful about that when you're on YouTube uh, make sure that you are just the same as you were if you were talking to people in everyday life okay